everybody. It's Miss Ponte. Okay, today's assignment 46. I know today isn't school, but some of you will do these ahead of time, I'm sure. But if not, some of you will work it tomorrow. So assignment 46. Here's my work, the teacher work. The cost C in dollars of running a particular factory that produces P, which is phone cases, can be modeled using this linear equation. The cost of phone cases equals $1.25 times P plus $21.75. So what they're saying is, say if you made 10 phone cases, you would do 10 times $1.25 plus $21.75, and that would be your total cost. If you did one phone case only, you would do 125 times 1 plus 21.75 is the cost of all your phone cases. So you do, all you do is replace the P with however many phone cases they're talking about in this instance. Okay, so we have, they haven't even given you a problem yet. They're just talking about what this represents. Now they're getting ready to ask you a question. How do you interpret the fact that C at 100 equals 2300? So you're going to say, if they put 100 right here. So they're really just wanting you to talk your, talk your way through it. You would say, how would you explain the fact that C at 100 is 2300? You would say, because 100 phone cases would cost $2,300 total at the factory. That's how much it costs to make them. Because this is the t cost to run the factory, I guess, for that day. And this is how much per phone case. So they're two separate things you got to add together for me, the total to run the factory for that day. So I put, well, it's in pink. It's hard to see. 100 phone cases cost $2,300. So that would be my answer. They're saying, how do you explain C at 100 equals 2300. You say, oh, well, 100 phone cases cost $2300. That would be your answer, the one in pink. I'm going to explain it just a little bit more. If you replace the 100 where the number of phone cases P is, then you would do $1.25 times 100 plus 2175. You would do that. You would do it on a calculator. So my dollar twenty-five was the price per phone case. This is just added information that's going to help you with your problem in a minute because your problem's a little bit different. So I'm just giving you some extra information here that's going to help you in a minute. So I'm just doing extra. I wouldn't even. This is all I would need to say for my answer. A uh, hundred phone cases cost twenty-three hundred dollars. That's my explanation. That's how you interpret C at 100 equals 2300. 100 phone cases cost $2,300. So the $1.25 was the price for one phone case. You're just going to need to know something kind of like that on your next problem. And $2,175 was the flat cost to run the factory. So that the $2,175 doesn't change. That's just a flat cost. This one is the one that's going to change. It's either going to be $1.25 times a hundred, a dollar twenty-five times fifty, however many phone cases they made that day, okay? So that's my example, and that right there is your answer. Hundred phone cases cost twenty-three hundred. Now it may look hard, but look over here at the actual problem from Duval County Schools. I changed it a little bit. They said widgets, which I thought was weird. So I changed it to phone cases. Um, how do you interpret the fact that C at one hundred equals twenty-three hundred? This is their answer. Because 100 widgets cost $2,300. So you're going to put, because 100 phone cases cost $2,300. That's how you interpret C at 100 equals $2,300. It says, how do you interpret that right there? What does it mean? It means the cost of 100 phone cases is $2,300. The cost of 100 phone cases is $2,300. So the cost of 100 phone cases is 2300 So that's how you interpret. It just says, interpret just means what does that mean? 
What does it stand for? It stands for 100 phone cases equals $2,300. Now for your problem. So write assignment 46 at the top of your page. And I put your work, student work. Managers at a local tire factory model the cost C in dollars of producing N tires in a day by the equation. Okay, so N tires could mean like the number of tires. I kind of wish they would have put T for tires, but they didn't. They're not always going to do that. Um, so N could be number of tires. Just think of that way. So it's almost like the one before, but they're making tires this time. So um, if you paid attention to the one before, you'll know how to do this one. So let's, they haven't even got to the question part yet. So here's the question part. Interpret what the 650 and the 1245 represent. From the problem below, you're going to kind of go by that. But we're not talking about phone cases, of course. So you're going to switch it around. And um, I hope the same um, six people don't do this in a timely manner. I hope some other people do too. But there's a boy and a girl. Well, there's lots of you that are doing good. But Ava, Tareem, Russo. Who else is doing really well? I just got to say who they are. Okay. Jennifer's doing pretty good. Miss Asbury, yes. Madison, you're doing pretty good. Tareem is competitive, yeah. German is catching up. You're doing good, German. Hefner's doing well. Dakota is competitive. Nevaeh, much better. At first, she was like thinking she didn't understand. She's doing really well now. Um, India, you're doing great. Gabriel, if you're out there, oh my goodness. Gabriel's been sick, but you've got to catch up, Gabriel. Wow. Um, Sam, good. Eliza, good. Patricia, good. Romero. Ava. Ava always wants more work. So, I, you know, I love that. Layla, you get behind and then you catch up and surprise me, but you stress me out when you get behind. Uh, Kendall, you stress me out when you get behind, but you're doing okay. Isaiah, good job. Uh, Miss Dunbar, good. So nobody's really, um, if anybody knows Jalen Anderson, oh my goodness. He hasn't done work, well, he has if. He hasn't done work since Christmas. So if anybody knows him, if he needs a new computer, if he needs a new hotspot, I've tried calling him, he doesn't answer. So if anybody knows him, can you please call him? Or however you can get a hold of him. 